Thank you for that kind introduction, Ed. And I thank you, board member Jamie Shelton, Dr. Newman, as well as the other board members for the opportunity of a lifetime given to me. And special thanks to the Propeller Club for the chance to address our port community for the first time as Jacksport CEO. There's a word I often use to describe my perspective on the port. That word is bullish. I am bullish on the future of Jacksonville and the future of our port. How many of you share that opinion with me? <laughs> Certainly the governor of our great state and the mayor of our great city also are bullish on what we have accomplished and will continue to accomplish together. We send them our appreciation every day for their solid support and encouragement of our efforts. There's another word I use a lot, together. What we have done and what we will do takes teamwork and partnership. Looking out today, I see so many dedicated partners who have helped us get where we are today. I'd like to give a round of applause to all of you, our tenants, our law enforcement agencies, our stevedores, our employees, our political leadership, our maritime and community partners. <laughs> Standing here today, I am proud to let you know the state of our port is one of forward motion. Deepening has started, volumes are increasing, our reputation for excellence continue to grow. Here's a look back at a very special year for the Port of Jacksonville. Looking back at 2017, we've had incredible growth um, in our container business and our car business. And we also got funding from the federal government to start the first phase of our deepening. So I think that 2017 was a great building block uh, as we go into 2018.
we've got our largest ship ever. This vessel is a 10,000 TEU ship. It's the first of its kind, it's the largest of its kind for the, for the Port of Jacksonville. It's a great opportunity for the, not just Jacksonville, but the whole Northeast region of Florida. doing about 100,000 container moves on and off right now and 85% of that is the Asian trade. So it's really growing quickly. It's a good time to be in Jacksonville. A lot happening at Jacksport with the uh, deepening. That's uh, music to our ears. Every job that is connected with Asian freight are good paying jobs here. It's, I mean, everybody is getting a piece of the pie and it, it's, it's jobs all the way across the board. Investment in infrastructure enhances our local quality of life, but also says to the business community, to the investing community around the world, that uh, we're open for business and we're an international player. Jacksonville Port has shown that uh, they are willing to invest. Uh, they, they bought new cranes, bought bigger cranes, and they, they want to grow the port. in Jacksonville uh, for a few years now and it's been excellent. We've had very good service and good relationship with the Port Authority. Anytime I have a phone call, I get a call back in minutes and they take care of us. I couldn't service our customers around the world without partnerships like this. It's not possible. Jacksonville is one of our largest ports that we call on the U.S. East Coast. Because of Jacksport's customer service and their solid management team, we always push our customers to uh, pick Jacksport as a port of load. The fellows that you see working now are very experienced at what they do. We have a, a lot of personnel here who have probably been doing these things for 30 plus years. Having the resources that we do here in Jacksonville makes it easier uh, for the customer, the end user, and the shippers. the ship and showing you the new Carnivalation. Uh, I call it the new Carnivalation because we've added a lot to this uh, beautiful ship. We've added a new floor up on deck 14 to accommodate roughly about 400 new passengers. So we also have the new water park right here behind us, uh, which is one of the kids' favorite parts by far. And we have brand new food and bar venues. We hear it repeatedly from people that do business here in Jacksonville is that strong relationship. The strong relationship between the Port Authority, the CBP, our other federal local state partners and it's something that they don't necessarily see everywhere. So it's something we pride ourselves on.
facilities that we have, Talleyrand, the ICTF, our Blunt Island facility are all being utilized because we have a strong supply chain to Puerto Rico with Crowley, Trailer Bridge, and Tote Maritime. This is uh, like a mobilization of equipment and uh, personnel, upper store power, and all of the other infrastructure issues that were affected by the Hurricane Maria. And that goes off to the city of Jacksonville and to the Port Authority. Without you guys being in place, I don't, I don't see how we could achieve this level of success. We're delivering 30 plus trucks that are going to Puerto Rico for mutual aid assistance so we can do uh, restoration work and bring them back in power. My prayers go out to the people that's over there and the devastations that hits them and um, hope that we can go over there and do some good. There was uh, 500,000 pounds of donated supplies the community had donated, but there wasn't a way to get it to the victims. The port came up with the plan, the business community financed that plan. We worked together and got the materials to the victims and did it fast. friendly fuel that's accessible to the maritime industry. In comparison to the traditional diesel fuel, it delivers a number of benefits, specifically on emissions, ultimately delivering an enhanced air quality for the communities we serve. When you, when you go to look forward to moving to natural gas, it's just not one driver, there's multiple. And for us, it was the environment and safety. We're on the forefront here in Jacksonville of creating a new, more efficient way of doing business. The Coast Guard, working very closely with Jacksport working closely with the companies that are bringing in those vessels, working with the gas providers. We have been able to come up with solutions and really the work being done here in Jacksonville is gonna be the basis for federal regulations of the future. Having the big ships uh, call on the Port of Jacksonville is very important for the community. It creates jobs at every level. It's exciting to see the growth of the maritime industry and on a personal note it helps me provide a wonderful life for my family in the Northeast Florida area. We've grown probably personnel by 30 percent over the last couple of years. We continue to focus on the growth so we can sustain all the people that work for us whether it's our own employees whether it's uh, the union workers. The impact we have on people's lives it's tremendous. I can tell you at the end of the day that every box represents jobs and more boxes means more jobs. Every box equates to a percentage of a job. This city is a port city. It is in the fabric of Jacksonville. experiencing record growth. LNG, FTZ, small business, heavy lift, vehicles, Puerto Rico, and Asian trade. My pledge to you is to continue this momentum in 2018. To continue the work begun last year to optimize the use of our seaport terminals to make sure the right operations are in the right places to address all concerns that are impeding our progress in any way. By next year at this time, the U.S. Army Corps should be under construction of the next segment of our deepening. And we will have expanded auto capacity, added business, and connected to new ports worldwide. None of this is easy, 
But remember, not too long ago, some said what we have accomplished already was not only hard, it was impossible. Let's continue to think big for the Port of Jacksonville together. Thank you.